hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and stitch this beautiful dress with an asymmetric neckline this tutorial is the full cutting and stitching video guys please click on the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video yeah i have the shoulder line at the top the chest line, the bust line, under bust and the waist line. My pattern paper is on fold. So now I'll go in with the shoulder measurement divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 inch allowance. I'll mark it on the shoulder line and the chest line and I'll connect with a ruler. The next thing is to mark the bust measurement divided by 4. I'll mark it on the chest line. I'll make a point there. Then I'll go in with the neckline now. I'm using a neck depth of 3 inches for now and a neck width of 3.5 inches. So I'll come in with my curve and connect it. The next thing now is to go in with a shoulder slope. I'll come down by 1.5 inches, make a point there, then I'll connect it back into the neckline with a ruler. I'll divide what I have left from the shoulder slope into two. Once I get the midpoint, I'll make a point there. Then I'll come in by 0 0.75 inch. Then I'll connect those three points together to form the ham hole. On the waistline, I'll mark the waist measurements divided by 4 plus 2 inches allowance for that. And I'll connect it to the chest line. The next thing now is to come in with the nipple to nipple measurements divided by 2. I'll mark it on the waistline and also on the bust line and I'll connect with a ruler. Now I'll go in by one inch on both sides of the dart leg and I'll connect it back to the bust line. The next thing now is to mark the bust dart. The difference between the front and back half length of the measurement I'm working with is 2 inches. So now on the bust line, I'll measure 2 inches and make a point there. Then I'll connect it with a ruler to the bust point. So that is our bust dart. Before we continue with this front pattern, I have to open up the paper. Like I said earlier that my paper is on fold. So now I'll cut out some parts and I'll open up this paper so that we can continue with this front pattern. To get this asymmetric neckline in the picture, I'll come down from the shoulder, from the top of the shoulder, I'll come down by 5 inches and I'll make a mark there. So now, the next thing is just to, from that 5 inches point, is just to use the curved ruler to connect it into the other ham hole. Just like I placed my curved ruler now, I'll just connect it to the other ham hole from that 5 inches point. Then I'll come in also. This part I think it's better to use the free hand to do this part. So I'll just use my free hand to connect it from the shoulder, from the top of the shoulder. I came in by half an inch, then I connected it back into the other line. Just like you see me doing, you can use your free hand to do this part. It is just to get a nice curve there that goes all the way from the top of the shoulder to the other ham hole. I'll come in with my marker now to make it more visible. I am cutting it out now, then after cutting, I'll tighten the neckline. From the top of the neckline, I'll mark a line that will connect to the bust points. This way, the front pattern will be separated and I'll be able to tighten the neckline. So I'm marking a line from the top of the neckline to connect to the post point. Then I'll cut it out. After cutting, I can now tighten the neckline. So 
to tighten the neckline i'll go in by 0.75 on both sides and i'll connect it to the bust point this way there won't be any gaping on the neckline Now to the back pattern. My paper is also on fold and I already have some lines on the paper and I'll be explaining what those lines are. So now I have the shoulder line at the top of the paper, I have the chest line and I have the waist line. Then I have my zip allowance at the side of the paper. I'll start by marking the neckline width and the neckline depth. I am marking a neck width of 3.5 and, and a neck depth of 3 inches. Please note that the length of this back pattern is 2 inches shorter than the front pattern because of the 2 inches we took in as the bust that. I'll mark the shoulder measurements now divided by 2 plus half inch. I'll mark it on the shoulder line and the chest line and I'll connect with a ruler. The shoulder measurement divided by 2 plus half inch allowance. Next, I'll come down by 1 inch from the shoulder line, that is for the shoulder slope, and I'll connect it into the neckline. I'll divide what I have left from that point into 2, and I'll make a mark there. At that point, I'll go in by half an inch, and also make a mark. Then I'll mark the bust measurement divided by 4. Then I'll connect those three lines together those three points I mean together to form the armhole. I am marking the bust pan measurement now. The bust pan measurement divided by two. I'll mark it on the waistline and the chest line and I'll connect with a ruler. The next thing now is to mark the waist measurement. The waist measurement divided by four plus one inch allowance for that. I'll come down from the chest line by one inch, that is where the dart will start from. Then I'll go in by half an inch on both sides of the dart leg and I'll connect it to that point. Just like we did with the front pattern, I'll cut out some parts now, then I'll open up the pattern paper so that we can make the same changes we make to the front neckline to the back. Here yeah, I am placing the front pattern on the back pattern so that we can alter the back neckline like we did with the front. I will trace out the front neckline on the back pattern and I will use my free hand to finish it up nicely. You can make the back neckline go a bit lower than the front. It doesn't have to be the same thing with the front but they have to match at the side joining. So at the armhole part where they join together, it has to match but you can make the neckline go a bit slower. Here, yeah, I'll transfer the dots to the other side of the back. I'll mark the chest line and make it visible on the other paper. Then I'll mark out my darts so that when I'm transferring to fabric, I can easily transfer the darts also.
I have transferred the patterns to fabric now and these are the front patterns. I added half an inch around the patterns. Then on the side joining, I added 2 inches. And I have also cut out my lining for all the patterns. Same thing with the back pattern. I have transferred to fabric and I have cut out my lining also. I went ahead to add interfacing to the main fabric of the front. I added interfacing to the main fabric. I didn't have to the lining. So I added interfacing and wording to the front of the fabric. I'll be pinning it, the lining piece now exactly the way I'll be stitching it when I go over to the sewing machine. For the back, I have also transferred the darts on the fabric. So I'll go ahead to the sewing machine now and take in the darts for the main fabric and also for the lining. I'll go ahead now and take in the darts, then I'll show you what to do next. This is the front part after stitching. And you can see the effect of the wording I added. It made the bust area stand out. I've also stitched the lining. Now I'll go over to the sewing machine and close the neckline of this front piece. After closing the neckline of the front piece, I'll do the same thing to the back. This is after stitching the darts in place. I'll go ahead now and close the neckline and also the zip area. I'll close it, then I'll show you what to do next. I went ahead to cut out the skirt part for this dress. I already have a tutorial on my channel on how to draft a skirt pattern. I'll link it in the description box so that you can use it to cut out the skirt part for this dress. And I also cut out my lining. Yeah, I have turned the neckline with the lining and this is what we have. Same thing I did to the back. I closed the neckline. And I close the zip area. Now I will be joining them to the down parts. I'll go over to the sewing machine now and stitch it down exactly the way you see me placing it now. I'll go ahead and stitch it down and I'll do the same thing to the front too. Then I'll show you what to do next. I went ahead to join the sides, then I fixed the zip. Next thing now is to cut out the flare that will be attached to the down part of this dress. If you look at the picture closely, you see that there's a three step flare at the down part. So now I'll measure out what I have at this down part. Whatever I have is what I will use to cut out the flare. I am cutting out the longest part of the flare first. The length I will be cutting out is 11 inches. The width of the flare depends on what I measured out at the down part of the dress. So you have to determine yours by what you measured out at the down part of the dress. Like I said, this one I am cutting out is the longest part of the flare. I'll cut it out, then I'll also cut, the next one I'll be cutting out, I'll cut it exactly this way, but that will be the net, I'll be using the net to cut out the next one, and the next one I'll be cutting out will be 8 inches, then the last one I'll be cutting out for the flare will be 5 inches.
I have cut out all the three steps and I'll be showing you. This is the first one you saw me cutting. And I also cut out my lining the same way I cut out the fabric. I cut out net for the next step. So this net I cut out, I cut out 8 pieces for the net. I cut out 8 pieces for the net. So that is for this net one. I'll be draining into this first one like so. Then the last one, I cut out lining for this last one also. Exactly the way I cut out the flare, I cut out the lining for it. Now I'll go over to the sewing machine and join them together. Then I'll show you what to do next. This is after joining the three steps to the dress and I went over to iron it properly and this is what we have. The next thing now is to cut out the sleeves. To cut out the sleeve, I'll measure out what I have on the hand pole. I'll be using this measurement to cut out the sleeve. Here, yeah, I've already cut out mine. And I'll link the cutting of the sleeve. I'll link the video in the description box so that you can get how I cut out the sleeve. I also cut out net for the sleeve. The net is 2 inches longer than the fabric. So I'll be attaching it like so. Then I'll also be adding lining to the sleeve. The net I cut out is 12, 12 pieces of the net that I'll be attaching to the main fabric for the sleeves. So I'll go ahead now and first turn the main fabric with the lining. I'll first turn it and stitch it down. Then I'll add it to the net and I'll show you what to do next. This is after turning the sleeve with the lining. I went ahead to top stitch on the lining. And this is what we have. I'll be joining it to the net part now. Together with the lining. I'll go ahead now and close the side of the sleeve. Then I'll attach it to the dress. Then I'll show you the finished look. Thank you guys for watching, please like my video, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and you can leave a video suggestion on what you would like to see on my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!